Out of Westchester County also included in that federal disaster declaration on this holiday, countless homeowners there also cleaning up the debris. CBS 2's Tony Aiello continues our coverage. It is not the Labor Day holiday these Yonkers sanitation workers planned. Doing heavy lifting, carting away tons of debris from homes flooded in this neighborhood south of Tibbetts Brook Park. What would you normally be doing on Labor Day? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Barbecuing, hanging out with the family, you know, normal stuff. Instead, you're working, but they sure appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. We appreciate them. This is a disaster. All these homes, a total mess. The damage is extreme after water rose during Wednesday's storm. Bobby Sam tried to prepare with sandbags. This was the height of the sandbag. But with the gush of the water, the strength of the water, it pushed everything in. Sam ran to shut down power and became trapped in swirling water. Up to my chest and it was pushing me around like in a circle. His tenant Jacqueline Savino lost pretty much everything in her basement apartment. Appliances ruined. The baseboard heaters need to be ripped out and replaced. I really need FEMA assistance. I really need Red Cross assistance. And right now there isn't too much of that because nothing's been declared in Westchester. She got good news an hour later. Westchester is included in the disaster declaration signed by President Biden. It's a major disaster declaration, which means that triggers uh, federal assistance for both our municipal facilities as well as for individual uh, residential damage and small business assistance as well. It's safe to say hundreds of Westchester families and business owners will be applying for aid. Back in Yonkers, the Labor Day garbage pickup lasted hours with Christmas, Easter, and Halloween among the holiday decorations destroyed in the storm. Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News.